Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example on wood sawing. So let's look at the example first. Wood sawing. The sawing operation takes place for 10 seconds when push button is pressed and wood is placed there. So the presence of wood place there will be detected by a proximity sensor and then when wood is placed and push button is pressed the sawing operation will take place and it will be operated for 10 seconds after sawing is completed the wood is removed and a blower is used to blow away the sawdust which remains activated for 5 seconds so after 10 seconds after sewing operation when wood is removed that is the sensor gets deactivated when the sensor gets false then a blower will turn on and it will blow away the dust for five seconds only and after that it should stop so let's move to eco structure machine expert where we will draw a ladder diagram to implement Wood sawing operation. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. So, an application protection must be selected. So, if I keep read protection as active, then we have to set a password here and the confirmation and if I keep write protection as inactive then we have to set password and confirmation here. So that will result in uploading the application from the controller is disabled due to blank password. So we will keep it inactive and on keeping it inactive uploading the application from the controller is unrestricted and downloading an application to the controller or modifying the application in the controller is unrestricted. So if I keep it active, then uploading the application from the controller will be restricted. So it will ask for the password. And also for write protection, if we keep it active, then downloading an application and modifying the application in the controller will be restricted. That is, it will ask for the password. So for now, we will keep these inactive and then we will click on apply. And after that, I will go to configuration tab. So here we have to configure our device. We have to select a logic controller. Here is a list of different logic controllers. So I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and then drag it to here. Do you want to replace TM221M16R by G by TM221C24R? You may lose some features and associated configurations. So I want to replace, so I will click on yes. So here is a device information about the logic controller I have selected that it has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial line port, and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal blocks and after that I can also go to serial line where I can uh, set the protocol settings and serial line settings I can select protocol as Modbus ASC II TMS 2GDB Modbus serial IO scanner I will keep it as TMS 2GDB so after keeping TMS 2GDB protocol there is no need to set serial line settings so then I will click on apply and after that, I will go to programming tab. So here, I will draw a ladder diagram for wood sawing operation. So I can also click on this for a full screen mode. And then I can also click on this option to unset the full screen mode. So for now, I will set a full screen mode. And then I will zoom into it like this. I can also zoom out like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact. 
and then I will insert a coil. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as I 0, 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as start button. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil as M0. M0 zero which is a memory bit and then I will latch it this memory bit here so I will insert one more normally open contact here and then I will assign address to this normally open contact same as the memory bit that is M0 and after that I will connect it like this so this start button is a push button so when it is pressed and released M0 will set to true and we will use this memory bit to control the sawing operation. So when start button is turned on, M0 gets true and with this turn off, M0 gets remains true. So it is a push button. So when we press it and then release, M0 still remains true. So then I will add a new rung and we will use this M0 to control the various processes. So I will insert a normally open contact here and I will assign address to it as M0. So this M0 is storing the data that start button is pressed. And then when start button is pressed and I will add one more normally open contact and I will assign address to it as I 0.0. One and I will assign symbol to it as sensor. So this sensor will detect the presence of wood, that is, wood is placed there. And then I will insert a coil, I will assign address to it as Q 0.0. I will also add symbol to it as saw. Yes, so when M0 is true that is when start button is pressed and released the current will flow through it and the sensor gets activated that is it detects the presence of wood that the wood is placed there then the saw will operate and it should operate for 10 seconds so for that i will use a functional block timer for saw and it should be tp so it should work for some time and after that it should stop. So I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 10. Yes. So when start button is pressed and released and the sensor gets activated, it detects that the wood is placed, it gets activated and the saw will activate for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, the sawing operation will stop. And also with that, I will add one more coil and I will assign address to it as M1 and then I will connect it like this. So when M0 is true and sensor gets true, then M1 also gets true. So it stores the data that the start button is pressed and released and also wood is placed there. So this data is storing, stored by this memory bit. And then I will use this M1 here to set another mem memory bit true even if M1 gets off. So I will assign address to this coil as M2 and I will assign address to it as M1 and then I will latch it here. So I will insert one more normally open contact and then I will connect it like this. So I will assign address to it as M2. 
so even when so when uh, push button is pressed and the wood is placed there then m1 m1 gets true and when m1 gets true m2 also gets true and then when the wood is uh, taken from there then m1 gets false so when m1 gets false m2 still remains true so it is stores the data that start button was pressed and also wood was placed there and with that it also stores this data indirectly that the sewing operation was done and then we will use this m2 here so i will edit one more rank here and i will insert a normally open contact and i will assign the address to it as m2 and then I will insert one more normally open contact and I will assign address to it as M0. And then I will insert a normally closed contact. And then I will assign address to it as I0.1, which is a sensor. And then I will insert a coil. And I will assign address to this coil as Q0.1. I will also add symbol to it as fan. Yes. So when M2 gets true, that is, that is when M0 is true, and when sensor gets activated, then M1 gets true, and when M1 gets true, M2 gets true. So when M1 is true, M2 is true and M0 is true. So it is storing the data that the push button was pressed. And also sensor is deactivated. Sensor is off. That is the wood is taken from there. Here it is storing the wood was placed there. And now it will detect the wood should be not there. And then only fan will operate. And it should operate for 5 seconds. So for that, I will use a timer for fan and that should be TP. I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 5 and then click on apply. So when start button is pressed and then released, M0 gets activated. When M0 is true, and sensor detects the wood is placed there. Wood is placed there. Then M1 stores this data that push button is pressed and released and sensor gets activated. Wood is placed there. This data is stored by M1. And also sewing operation will start. Saw so will operate for 10 seconds as we have uh, preset uh, the, uh, the value as 10. So it will operate for 10 seconds. And when M1 gets true, M2 gets true, and then when M2 gets, sorry, M1 gets false, M2 still remains true. So M1 will uh, go false when the sensor is deactivated, when sensor is false. So when wood is taken from there, so it is also storing the data that sewing operation is completed. So after sewing operation is completed, the wood is taken from there and the sensor gets false. So even when M1, even when sensor gets activated, M1 gets, uh, sorry, even when sensor gets deactivated, sensor is false and M1 is false, but still M2 remains for, true. And then when M2 is true and M0 is storing the push button was pressed, and the, when these two are true, then the current will flow through it and the sensor used as normally closed contact. So when in false state, it will conduct the electricity. So this sensor will be false when the wood is not there. The sensor will be false when wood is taken from there. The sensor will be false after the sewing operation is completed. And when these conditions are met, then only fan will blow away the sawdust. 
and the fan will operate for 5 seconds only. And after 5 seconds, it will stop. So, I will exit full screen mode. And then, I will compile the program. And then, I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. After logic simulator, I will start controller. To do so, click OK. And then, I will go to programming and set full screen mode. So, when start button is pressed, M0 gets true. And when start button is released, then M0 still remains true. And when M0 is true, that it is storing the data that start button was once pressed and then the current will flow through it and then this sensor should get activated so it will get activated when the wood is placed there so then the wood is placed there and when wood is placed there the saw will operate for 10 seconds and with that also m1 gets true and when m1 gets true M2 gets true and after 10 seconds the operation will stop but this M1 is still true and after the sewing operation is completed the sensor gets deactivated so this sensor gets deactivated when wood is taken from there so when is to taken from there M2 still remains true and when it remains true fan gets on so this M2 stores the data that M1 was true. So M1 was true when the push button was pressed and wood was there and it was detected by the sensor. And also that M0 stores that the push button was pressed and released. And the sensor it should be so it is false when the wood is not there, when the wood is taken from there. And when these conditions are met, then only fan will operate for 5 seconds. And after that, it has stopped. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.